All right, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna upload your project to Cyberduck. All right, so remember, you all have uh, some server space on Elon's campus, um, and simply you just uh, drag your actual folder. So right now I have this on the desktop, and if I put this, oops, didn't mean to do that, sorry. If I put this in brackets here, you can see I have a basic site here. Now this is not uploaded to the World Wide Web. If I send this to somebody in Canada, they would not be able to see this page, all right? Because it's not actually on the server. So what we need to do is actually put it on the server. Um, that's what you guys tend to send me for your projects and that's a no-no. So in order to do this, we need to open up Cyberduck. All right, and the first thing we're gonna do is just open the connection. Now up here, it says FTP. We need to change this to SFTP, all right? So this is Secure File Transfer Protocol. So Elon's uh, server is a little bit more secure. Now the server name is student.elon.edu. This is the same across the board. Don't worry about port 22, that's for SFTP. You don't have to change that. And then what you do is you type in your username and your password, and this is usually to your email. So mine is bbooker3 and it automatically generated my password for me and then I'm just gonna hit connect okay. and unknown fingerprint let's hit allow it's authenticating it's taking a minute alright now you won't have all these folders these are just from other things I've done for other classes and things like that so don't worry about that now all you literally have to do is just drag your project into Cyberduck and it gives you a plus sign. And unknown fingerprint, let's hit allow. Now it's telling me to overwrite this, so I'll do that. It says upload complete. Once you've done that, you're actually done with Cyberduck. You just exit out and you go to like Google Chrome here. Alright. Now oops. All right, so what I'm gonna actually do is I'm going to go in and type this in. So what I'm gonna do is, first thing I need to do is type the server. So I'm gonna say student.elon.edu. All right, that's the first thing I type. This is the first part. Slash my username. Yours will be your username. Slash uh, oops, sorry, that was my email. Slash the folder name. So whatever the folder name is, mine is just boilerplate. And then this is case sensitive. So I'm gonna say boilerplate, and, hit enter. and there we go. So now if I send this link to someone in Canada, they'll be able to pull up the site if they have internet access. So that was actually pretty easy to complete. All right, that's the end of this video.